Hi there. These comments are for Randy. I hope you're having a great day today. And I'm listening to your pronunciation pretest for vowel and consonant sounds. And I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for the online TOEFL course, Stealth, the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. Here is my feedback based on uh, part A. Uh, these are the lessons you want to focus on a little bit more. Lesson number seven, particularly the boat, grow, over, though, that long vowel sound. Lesson number nine, I think on this one, the oi, broil, loyal, that oi, oi. You need to also focus on lesson 10. Again, the long vowel sound, gate, get, late, let. Lesson number 11, lesson 12, lesson 14, lesson 15, focus on the glottal stop, Batman, bitten, important, brightening, hat rack, threaten. Focus on that particular sound there. Lesson 16, both of the sounds you want to worry about. Lesson 19. Lesson 19, <laughs> the key is you're having more trouble when the P and the B is at the end of the word. So let me, let me read these two words here. Flap, flab. Lap, lab. So when the B's at the end of the word, the vowel before it needs to be a little bit longer. Uh, you also need to focus on lesson number 23 and 24. All right, so those are the lessons that you're having more trouble with. Uh, and I recommend go through all of the lessons at least one time, but focus more on those lessons. And you'll notice, Randy, I have voice recording exercises at the end of the lesson. You can practice those lessons and then email me your practice and I will give you more feedback uh, in those areas. And as you practice doing voice recordings, this is very, very important for the TOEFL because it gets you more comfortable speaking in front of a microphone and you will do much better when you take the TOEFL exam. So do the voice recording exercise practices. That's very, very important. Let's listen to you answer the uh, personal experience questions in Part B now. And this gives me more information about your speaking and pronunciation abilities of American English. Okay, here we go. First question. Well. So your, what is your educational background and your work? I am uh, Bachelor of Social Communication. I study at San Marco University. Now you want to say sociological? Sociological communication. It is located in Peru. Uh, well, to to add this, I have two diplomas. Instead of to add this, how about furthermore or moreover? Right? And that will add to what you've already said. And those are more uh, natural type transition words that we use to connect our ideas together. The first one was in digital marketing. Okay. And the last one in finance. All right. Talking about my work history, well, my, my last job was marketing manager in Pacifico University. Okay. I have almost 10 years of experience, of work, of work experience. Wow. And always I focus on marketing field. Okay. First question. Okay, we're going to listen to your response to the second question now in just a minute. The second question is, why is it important for you to improve your speaking and pronunciation abilities of American English? Second question. Well, for me, it's important to improve my, my speaking. Now, notice that word, import important you if you use the glottal stop like we do in the united states here we'll say important you can also say it the way you said important in the skills uh, no it's not skills skill but it's skills skills 
I I planning to live in America. I planning to I planning to live. You say I planning to live in, but you can't use the ing form of the verb without having an auxiliary verb. You could say I am planning to. So don't forget your be verb. So on the TOEFL, Randy, if you forget the verb in there, that's going to lower your score dramatically with speaking because that's a language use error and it indicates a lower level of speaking proficiency. In America, I'm planning to, to study a master. I am planning to. So I need to, to improve all my communication skills. Communication, communication skills. So you have actually a pretty heavy la comunicación. Uh, because you you have a pretty heavy Spanish speaking accent. Because that is the the first tool to to reach my my goals. Notice the word to ooh that long vowel to reach my Second goals. Second question. Okay, let's listen to your third question. Question three is, what do you hope to achieve in this course? So this also shows me, tells me a little bit more about your goals and things. So it helps me understand more where you're coming from. Well, my, my main goal to, to take this course is improve my communication skills and uh, pass a full test. Okay, so is there any particular is there a certain score you're looking for? For example, do you need to get 23 or 24 or 26 points in the speaking? Uh, so be specific when you're telling me about what you're trying to do. You want to be very specific because trying to score 23 in the TOEFL speaking is very different than scoring 26 in TOEFL speaking. All right. Now I'm going to give you an intelligibility score so you can kind of get a general idea of where you are. Uh, the highest score you can get is seven, that's a native speaker, and the lowest score you can get is high beginner, which is 1.1. So for you, Randy, I'm going to put you in intermediate level, 3.1 to 4.0, maybe 3.4 mid-range here. Uh, so let's look at what that means for your speaking. So I can understand most of what you're saying, but you have a distracting accent. You can answer these questions in terms of short sentences. You have, you have some descriptors and some details. Um, you have some word usage irregularities. So uh, you can do better, right? And that's what I'm gonna help you with. So your goal here is if you want to score 26 on TOEFL speaking, and I don't know what you want to do because you didn't tell me, but you want to get higher than 5.1 when you do the post-test, my pronunciation post-test. That, that's probably a pretty good goal for you, but it's not going to be easy. So what you want to do is to set some goals, right? Obviously start going through the pronunciation lessons in my course. You should also start doing speaking practice. You can send me a speaking or pronunciation practice test every 24 hours, but here's my rule, is don't send more than 60 seconds of audio practice on any given day, all right? And then I will provide feedback on that speaking or pronunciation practice that you're sending me so you can monitor your progress. But here's what you wanna do. Uh, take time, Randy, watch TV, watch movies, really work on getting a lot of exposure to the English language. You can go to YouTube and you can watch videos there. But th the main goal here is to get more listening. The more that you listen to English, the better you will be with your own speaking. And of course, find opportunities to speak English whenever you can. All right, so your intelligibility score is 3.4 out of 7. Your goal is to try to get 5.1 on the pronunciation post-test post -test, uh, <coughs> when you're done with my course. My best guess, you're probably looking at maybe two or three months. If you're practicing your speaking every day for two hours, you can probably get to 5.1 in two to three months. It'll take practice. 
And remember, the more practice sets you send me, the more feedback you're going to get, and the better you can monitor your progress. All right, thank you for doing this uh, uh, pretest.